Welcome to Simply Fun's How to Play Buddy Hop, a hop-happy game that is two games in one. You can play Buddy Hop with two to five players ages four and up. Buddy Hop is good for developing memory and sequencing skills as players try to step on the mats in the order they appeared on the line of cards. Buddy Hop also helps with gross motor skills as players actively move around and interact with the character mats. Game 1 concentrates on building your child's memory and sequencing skills, while Game 2 focuses on building quick visual association skills by matching characters on cards with the images on the play mats. To set up for the memory and sequencing game, place all six character mats close to each other on the floor in a random pattern. Shuffle all the character cards and place them face down on the table. Choose two cards from the deck, flip them over, and place them face up in a line close to the stack. The first player looks at the two face up cards on the table and tries to memorize the characters in the order shown. Then, he moves over to the character mats on the floor and tries to step on the mats in the sequence they appeared on the line of cards. Once he begins to step on the mats, he cannot look at the cards on the table again. The other players are responsible for checking the cards and making sure the player stepped on the mats in the right order. If the player was correct, his turn is over. He comes back to the table, flips over the next card from the stack, displays it at the end of the existing line of cards, and play continues with the next player in a clockwise fashion. If the player did not step on the mats in the right sequence, his turn is still over, but he has to take the last card from the line of cards on the table and hold it. He then flips the next card from the stack, places it at the end of the existing line of cards, and play continues with the next player. As the game progresses and the line of cards grows longer, the memory task becomes even more challenging for each player. The memory and sequence game ends when either the line of cards on the table reaches 10 cards or the stack of cards is run out. Players must then count the number of cards they've collected from the missteps on their turns. The player with the fewest cards wins. To set up and play the game for visual association, Place the six character mats at a great distance from each other. Don't be afraid to get creative. And place a table near the play area. This version is great to play outdoors where you have lots of room to run. For this game variation, players will have to take many steps to travel from one mat to the next. Sort the character cards into separate stacks according to the colors on the back of the cards. Each player chooses one stack. Any remaining stacks are returned to the box. This game is a race. To play, all players start at the same time and reveal the first cards in their stacks, showing one of six possible characters. Leaving their remaining cards on the table, they run to the mat of the depicted character and place the card there. They quickly return to the table to reveal the next cards in their stacks and deliver them to the appropriate mats. The game continues until the first player has delivered all six character cards to their mats. That player is the winner. Any way you play it, you'll have a fast-paced, hip-hoppy time with the Simply Fun Buddies and Buddy Hop.